welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly how to screen record on Windows 11. Now there's a couple of different ways to do this. You can do this via downloading the application, but there's also a built-in way with Xbox Game Bar to actually do this. Now you do have to keep in mind, it doesn't record your whole entire screen as far as I know. It allows you to record application or games that you're within Windows 11. So in order to do this, what you wanna do is you wanna click your Windows key plus the letter G on your keyboard to open up the game bar application. Now when you see that, you wanna click on the capture option, specifically on the game bar from the top menu. Now when you do that, you wanna go ahead and if you have a microphone set up, you can go and set that up and go through there. Now it's going to allow you to actually start recording with the recording button on your specific panel. So all you have to do is go and hit that record button and as soon as you start recording, the Xbox game bar will go ahead and minimize and it will go ahead and start capturing exactly what you're doing on your panel. Now if you wanna go ahead and toggle up that recording option, you can go and click the Windows key plus the Alt key plus the letter R. It's going to go ahead and boot up that specific Xbox Game Bar application up. And if you're ready and if you're done recording, you want to go ahead and find the little banner, which allows you to actually click that, you know, stop little recording option. And then you are pretty much good to go. Now, if you want to see this recording, you can go and click on a little banner that's on the right side of the screen. You can go and click there and it'll go ahead and allow you to see all those other recordings that you've done, save them out and all that good stuff. Now, if that doesn't sound like something you want to do or you want to do more than just record a specific application, you can actually go use the OBS application, which is a massive thing. I'm pretty sure everyone knows this by now. And it allows you to do a lot of screen recording. It has a lot more capability. A lot of streamers have used this and it's pretty much a, you know, one of the most popular applications I think on Windows. So you want to go to this website, obsproject.com, also link it down in the description. You want to go ahead and install this specific application. Now when you do that, it'll go ahead and allow you to go through and do all these peripherals, all that good stuff, and then you'll get into that recording panel. So all you have to do at that point is to actually go ahead and input the exact specific things that you want, anything you want to tinker around with. If you want to add a microphone, you can do all this other stuff. And once you have your settings all built in, you want to go ahead and click on the recording option. So it's a little different, I think, from when I used it, but there's a little recording option that says, you know, start recording or whatever. You want to go ahead and click there. And I would recommend doing a little sample recording, see as long as everything works. And if everything looks good, you can go ahead and save it out and then pretty much start recording with OBS. So that's pretty much it. Those are a couple of different ways to screen record within Windows 11. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so long.